with this super power you'd be able to speak any language in the world not only that if you can find a romantic lovely and cute girl speaking a different language you'd be able to speak her language not only that but if she speaks any romantic thing in her language you'd be able to understand every single bit of it this is super smart super crazy and super fun so let's get started Before getting into the detail please please like this video and subscribe to this channel otherwise grandma will come to your dream and give you a ugly haircut to start with this project you will have to have python installed in your computer and we would be using a python code editor called pycharm once this pycharm is ready all you have to do is to click on this button called new project and give some fancy name to your project here we would be naming it like international lover because you want to love internationally you don't want to be limited to only in your language once the pycharm is ready all you have to do is to press control a and then backspace and after that click on this then you need to go to your favorite uncle and who is mr google uncle and just go there and search for pip google trans and it will take you to this website and here you can just punch to this tiny button and come back to your favorite pie charm click on this terminal and then control v this is asking pip to install google trans so google translator is a powerful thing but it only gives you to convert a text to a different language but our goal is to do speech to speech so that would be the fun part but first start with the easier part once the google translator is installed all you have to do is to import that dude and we'll type import and google trans after that you can see the power of google trans you can transform to any language in the world and if you want to see the name of all the languages this is super easy all you need to do is to type print and inside it google trans dot languages that means all the languages that google translator can convert just for you so i will click on this tiny run button and you will see that there are so many different languages and you never heard of all these languages in your entire life like this is like simply bright chinese there is a few other like a french language if you like a filipino you can go there if you want german doesn't matter indonesia india latin malaysian so many of those we will be using each of them one by one so first we will just comment this line and we'll create a translator and translator is super easy so it would be like a translator equals to google trans dot translator this is our own personal translator after that we will ask the translator to translate it to any language so we will just call the translator dot translate to translate anything that means like i am a lovely romantic person or whatever you want to say and the next parameter after the comma is the destination that means which language you want to translate and that destination in our case would be we would be giving it to for example french or spanish something like this and after that this google translator will return us something we'll put this in a variable called translated or something like this and this translated will have some text so we would be able to just print that like this way translated dot text that's it now if you click on this run button you might see some error but don't freak out the easiest way to solve this error is to take out the text whatever the text in your all this red text messages just find out that which part has some meaningful english so this is some meaningful english we will copy this dude we will take it to our rescue google uncle and then search for python google trans and after that we'll paste the error and press enter and this guy will take us to this stack overflow site and when people would be saying that hey you need to install an alpha version of the package and people would be recommending to install the alpha version of the package so if you only see this error in that case you need to come back to the terminal press enter and then control v and run this alpha version of this package and after that your error should be gone 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 
I will click on this run button and you will see that I have something. So I own something persona romantica. So that means at least this sounds like in Spanish. And if you understand any other language other than Spanish, you can uncomment this line. So I'm uncommenting and then click on this run button. In that case, you see all different languages. You can scroll and find out your favorite language, which could be French, which could be Finnish or any other language. And Google Translator will translate it for you. So here I am translating for friends and then running it. And then you are getting the French version of the text. Here is like Jesus is one persona, something romantic QE. Romantica becomes romantic QE in French, but doesn't matter. That's not the fun yet. The fun begins when you'd be speaking in your language and whatever you are saying gets translated to the language she can understand. And that's how the romanticism of your language learning starts. So let's go to this part and there you need to ask your favorite Google uncle to install something for you. And for that, you need to ask your favorite Google uncle to give you something. And that thing is called Python speech recognition. And Google uncle will take you to this website and will ask you to click on this tiny button and you come back to your PyCharm, go to the terminal and then control V and then enter and this will install speech recognition for this project and you will need one tiny more thing and that tiny dude is called Pi Audio. So you can again search Python Pi Audio and Google will gracefully take you to the same website and ask you to click on this guy, come back and here in the terminal, control V and then enter and Pi Audio would be installed in your project. And for some of you might face trouble to install speech recognition or Pi Audio. Don't worry, I will put a link in the description. You can go to that Discord server and share us what problem you are facing and we will solve your problem. Once your speech recognition is installed, all you have to do as usual is to import speech recognition. And since it is a large name, you can have a smaller name called SR. And after that, you can use your microphone and to talk to your program and for that purpose the first thing we would be using is called recognizer and that recognizer would be sr.recognizer once you have that underneath this translator you can write a try accept block so this is how you will write a try accept block and ideally you should handle exception and do something about it. Since we are lazy and much more interested in the romanticism, that's why we will tell Python to pass it for now and rather focus on the try part of it. Inside the try, the first thing you will tell with sr.microphone so that your microphone is utilized and using the microphone as a source all you need to do is to talk and Google will take rest part of it. And to indicate that your microphone is ready, you can write in a small print command and it can say like a speak now or something like this. And after that, first you need to get the voice audio. So I will declare a variable called voice and that will go to your recognizer dot listen because it need to listen to the source which is the microphone, that's it. So you are telling the recognizer who would be recognizing your voice and you are asking it to listen to the source and source is the microphone. Once you got the voice, which is the audio of your speech, you need to convert it to a text. And that text would be something like this and you will again call the recognizer, but this time it would be asking Google to recognize whatever the voice you are saying to it. And after that, you can just print the text for now. Now, if you have done this correctly, all you have to do is to speak to the microphone and you should be seeing whatever you are saying here. So let's give it a shot. And I'm clicking on this button. I'm a romantic, lovely boy. And you can see your text is, I am in romantic, lovely boy, something like this. So whatever you are saying is getting displayed here. And if you don't want to see all this extra stuff, you can come here and then you can comment out this line for now. 
and here you already got the text that you are speaking right but you are speaking in english if you say i am romantic in english your potential partner doesn't understand english she might be understanding uh, spanish or some other language but don't worry what we can do other than typing all this hard coded text we can take out this part out and put text here and if you do this nicely this text whatever you are speaking would be coming here and that would be passed to her to translate to the desired language and that could be french or any other language let's look for some spanish girls so let's see whether they can understand what i am saying so i am clicking on this and if this works nicely then you will see whatever i am saying here and then it would be translated and you would be seeing the translated output here so let's give it a shot i'm clicking on this hey romantic spanish girl in mexico are you ready you see hey romantic spanish girl in mexico are you ready and it's translated to spanish romantica and something chica hispanola mexico listan whatever it is i don't need to understand or say it loudly i was able to speak in english and using some lines of python was translated to spanish but that's not good enough because i don't want to send her a text and look into the screen every single time i want to have a lively romantic discussion that means if i am speaking right now it would be translated in spanish and also saying it in spanish so that she can understand that means i need to do a little bit work in the next part where whatever i am saying would be translated directly to the language she can understand and that would be the fun part number 3 so now we will go back to our google angle again because we like google angle so much and we will search for something called python google text to speech something like this because we already got spanish text now we want spanish text to be spoken to my potential person and for that purpose we have something and google uncle once again will take us to this which is like a z google text to speech tts something like that we'll come back to our pycharm go to the terminal once again and then we will paste it and this is the way google text to speech would be installed in your project and once you install something the next fun thing is to import that dot so we'll import google text to its page right here and we will come back here and since we got the text here uh, we can do a fun stuff and that fun stuff would be hey google text to speech you have something called text to speech and you need to take the translated dot text and you need to say it and here you need to define another parameter called language and this is the language of the text in in this case we can say like es which is the spanish of the language and you have the same language here what you can do you can declare it in one simple variable here is like a har language something like this and har language is like spanish or whatever this and here instead of hard coded es you can just pass the variable har lang and this is also har lang that means you can define har language in one place so that if you lose your interest about spanish girl and become interested about french girl or german girl or azerbaijan girl or hindi girl or indian girl doesn't matter you can just change it in one place and whole code will work like a charm so let's keep working in this part so you would be able to get this where and you can put it in a variable and this would be for example uh, converted audio because this is the audio by using google text to speech when you convert something to speech that becomes an audio once you have the audio you can save it you can save like converted audio dot save and you can give it some name here i could say like romantic dot mp3 and once you run this code it will save an mp3 file in your project so let's give it a shot so right now i am opening this 
to see whether I have a file here by speaking something in Spanish. So I'm clicking on this button. Hey Spanish girl, are you ready for a date? Wow, you see this romantic MP3 is created. So we need the last small piece of it to play this file. And that would be the most fun stuff. And for that purpose, we can go back to our favorite Google uncle and you can search for Python play sound. And if you search for it, Google will take you very nicely, gently to this side. All you need to do is to click on this guy come back to your PyCharm, go to the terminal and then press enter. This play sound would be installed in your project and all you have to do once again is to import this play sound. And once you have this play sound, all you have to do here is to call this play sound. Hey, play sound, don't play, just play the sound and you will give the name of the romantic.mp3. That's it, my dear friend. So the main part of our code is done. Now we could be romantic, lovely and excited because if our code work, I would be speaking in English and my language would be translated to her romantic part. So let's give it a shot. Hey, lovely girl, let's go for a date tonight. Hey, chica preciosa, vamos a tener una cita esta noche. You see, whatever I said in my language, it gets converted to her language. And that's how at least I can talk to her. But there is a small tiny pieces remaining. What if she says something in her language? Will I be able to understand? Keep watching in the next part. We will be solving that part in a super easy way. So far, your love is unidirectional. You could be romantic, lovely or smarter and convince her. But what if she says her address or her telephone number or a place to go for a date, but you don't understand her language yet. And for that purpose, you need to do a little bit work. That's it. You need to just scroll a little bit up. You don't have to install anything new. What if if you take the mouse over this method, PyCharm will tell you that this takes extra parameter called language. Previously, I was speaking in English and Google was taking it as a default language English. What if she is speaking in another language? Don't worry, Google can handle that too. You can just go to Google and search for, uh, say like speech recognition supported language, something like this or you can uh, supported languages, something like this, Google speech recognition supported language. And you can click on this and you can search for like any language here. If you are looking for Spanish, you'd be seeing a lot of Spanish like Argentina, Bolivia, and they have some short name. And if you scroll down, you'll see it is uh, kind of like somewhere here. This is the Mexican version of English. So think about this like a language could be one small name, which is like ES, that could be small part, but language could have a different form. For example, US people speaks English and also British people speak English, but they have a different version of English. And if you think a little more, like Indian people has their own version of English. So that's why this is the same thing, Spanish for Mexico, Spanish for uh, like Panama, Spanish for Peru, all these things. And if you come back to the code, look into this, this is the her language previously I was speaking in English and the output was in her language which is Spanish specific. What if other than me she is speaking in that case input would not be English input would be her language and for that purpose we can declare a variable here and this would be input language and you can give it the name of the language she would be speaking and that could be ESMX. So we'll put ESMX, this is her language. And at the same time, if she speaks in Spanish, we need to convert it to English so that I can understand. And English is just nothing but EN. And if you want to avoid confusion, you can just click on this, press Shift F6 to rename this variable and it could be output language. So if you look into this, you need to do a little bit extra stuff that you are telling, hey, Google recognizer, 
Now you need to recognize the language I am mentioning. So here you can mention language equals to input language. That's it. That's it. So if you look into the code, this is a very simple code here. All you need to do is to define the input language the person is speaking. It could be I am speaking or she is speaking in Spanish, French, Italian, whatever the language you can think of. And then it would be converted like that way. So we pretty much got all the set. Now we need to find a hot spicy girl. And for that purpose, uh, we can go to the most convenient place to find a girl and that is YouTube. So I'm going to YouTube right now and maybe you'll be searching for a uh, Mexico or uh, Mexico weather report or something like this and you will see uh, like a lot of different news you can definitely uh, listen to all these so I'll be clicking on this one and then going to somewhere in the middle that means she is definitely speaking Spanish so all we need to do is to put it in some place in this video and then ensure that this person is speaking uh, Spanish and the way we'll be testing it is very simple so we will have this girl speaking in YouTube that's fine and we will run our code and quickly turn over the YouTube to play it that means our code would be listening to the audio she is speaking and then we'll use our code to convert what she is saying in English and that would be the fun part my dear friend so let's do this experiment and see whether our code works the way we want it to do. So let's click on uh, this guy and then see. Well, let's give it a try until this point and see what happens. Current temperature oscillating at 16, 17 degrees is decreasing, losing a lot. I do not know around. I know you know a lot of things, but at least uh, we got like what she was speaking in Spanish, which I had no clue is converted to English. And that's not all about like in Spanish. If you get bored of Mexico and you want to go to some other country and that could be France or some other countries, you just need to find the right language. That's it, my dear friend. So here, let's search for like a, a France, something like this, and which has FR, FR. So we will change for like an FR to FR, like a French in French, and then we'll find some French language, maybe like uh, flirting, uh, flirting French girl, something like this, and then search for it. And then we will get like an, a lot of nice stuff. Maybe play this video and then see whether we can understand what they are saying. I would be doing the, exactly the same thing. That means I would be running this program so that would be capturing someone speaking in French. And then we would be running this one so that whatever she is saying, we can capture it and convert it to English. And that would be the fun. So let's get another test of our program. I'm clicking on this guy. J'ai fait la cour à quelqu'un, ça remonte il y a trois ans et demi, c'était mon ex, euh, mais j'ai pas beaucoup fait la cour, c'est vrai. Three and a half years old and he was my ex, but I haven't done much in Corsica. That means she had an ex, she is single, so you have a chance. So you got the idea. That means you can convert any language to English, but that's not the all case. You can do the exactly the same thing. For example, you want to convert this to Hindi. That means someone is speaking French. You are interested about that person, but you only understand Hindi. And Hindi is like H-I, which is Hindi. And we can uh, play the same thing again. And then we see whether we can understand the same part here. So let's give it another try. So I'm clicking on this. J'ai fait la cour à quelqu'un, ça remonte il y a trois ans et demi, c'était mon ex, euh, mais j'ai pas beaucoup fait la cour, c'est vrai. Sari teen saal ka aur wo mera purv tha, lekin mene Corsica mein bohat kuch nahi kiya hai. 
that means uh, you got the idea you can convert like french to hindi french to or chinese or french to korean any language you want to do you have the all power that means you got the secret super power my friend you can convert any language to anything and that means you can speak or having a real time conversation with anyone in this world whenever you want that's all from this video if you watched until this point please please write some romantic lovely comment below and uh, definitely like this video subscribe to this channel and never forget that we have a cool mobile app and if you are using an iphone you can definitely go to the app store find this awesome app and if you are an android user you can go to the play store and find this fun app and that's all from this video your grandma and i will see you in the next video